All right, y'all, we'll keep this running. Next guy coming to the stage, um, he's gonna stand up nearly three hours of being alcohol free. <laughs> Make some noise for Patrick Crow, y'all. Let him hear. What is up? It's Christmas time. Woo! Yeah. yeah. See a few of you wearing the hats. That's sweet. Awesome Cinema stuff. Lot. What's that? Cinema oh, lot. Oh, um, hey. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> Oh man, I hate Christmas time though. I'm so bad at all this shit. Shopping, I never know what to get people. It's terrible. I'm over there at Walgreens the other day going through the as seen on TV section. Wondering, you know, is, is a ShamWow really a good Christmas gift? Yeah! Yeah, man. If I get my girlfriend a Snuggie, I mean, is, is that cool? And then what about the Aqua Globes? How many Aqua Globes should you get? I mean, is two enough? Just three too many? I honestly don't know. I suck so bad. So I always push it off to the very last minute. I mean, seriously, I'm at 7-Eleven on Christmas morning doing my shopping. It's bad. I mean, come on, last minute. I ended up getting my dad a 40 of Schlitz and a pack of smokes. <laughs> Got my sister a Slurpee. I mean, it was red, so at least it's Christmas, you know. My girlfriend and Jug windshield wiper fluid. It's not the blue shit, come on. It's the orange stuff that never freezes. I mean, what baby wants, she gets, you know? Something like that. But man, I haven't, I haven't been sleeping. My freaking upstairs neighbor is making so much freaking noise up there. I don't know what he's doing. I have no clue. I'm, I'm guessing. Seriously, I think he's got midget wrestling practice up there probably like six nights a week. I know. I, know what I mean, the guy is like purposely stomping I around up there. It's, it's, it's so noisy. I mean, it's like Rosie O'Donnell, Michael Moore, and Andre the Giant are playing a game with Duck Duck Goose. And somehow, I mean, the dog's involved too. But the dog's all hopped up on Ritalin and the Red Bull or something, chasing a ball of flubber around the place. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass. So I've been racking my brain trying to figure out a way to like get back at the guy. And you know, I do the old high school shit, like the flaming bag of dog shit on the front porch, and you know, put the Vaseline on the doorknob so he can't get in. That was a pretty bush league. But um, I was really happy with myself last week. I found a way to really get back at this fucker. I called Goodwill and donated his car to charity. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, it felt really good to help out. You know, I'm a giving kind of person. I'm more than happy to do it. So that's good times. But I'm, I'm all about wreaking havoc and causing trouble, man. I, I love doing that. My favorite thing to do is to put on a red shirt and khaki pants and head on into Target. I'm all moving shit around and rearranging shelves. Right? I'm the king of Target right here. I'm a good old time. Oh, uh, sweet. A customer came up to me the other day. Excuse me, sir, where's your Christmas section? Christmas? We don't do Christmas here at Target. We have a holiday section. You can buy all your holiday gifts here at Target. You know, you can put them under the holiday tree. In holiday evening, Santa comes down and, and you know, hooks you up, and then you open all your presents on holiday morning. <laughs> You want Christmas, go to Walmart, jackass. <laughs> oh man, that's, uh, that's good times right there, I'll tell you what. Um, but I'm really lazy, I mean, after, after a full day of imaginary work at Target, I just want to chill out. You know, I go home, I park myself on the couch and watch TV. I'm watching TV all through the evening and until I go to bed, essentially, you know, all evening long. Then I go to bed and I dream about what kind of TV I'm gonna watch tomorrow. <laughs> but, you know, I talk to all these people who are like, oh, you know what, cable? No, I don't have cable, I don't watch TV, whatever. Like, no way, I can never do that. I can never give up my cable. And watching CBS or whatever, I just can't put myself into a situation where I have to watch so you think you're smarter than a, a Survivor Boise, Idaho edition? No way, man. Seeing how much weight this person lost by being in a teenage high school musical or whatever. And it's just not for me. I'm all about Jeopardy. Jeopardy's the coolest fucking show ever. Alex Trebek, man, that guy's my freaking hero. I love him. 
You know, but I'm not smart enough to watch Jeopardy. I don't know anything about history or geography or the Bible. No way, I can't do it. So they need to dumb it down a little bit for me. Make categories like useless sports trivia and beer. Maybe guys named Rupert. That game I can fucking clean up on. But I just want to see Alex Trebek's face when I say, yeah, Alex, I love masturbation euphemisms for a thousand. What is roughing up the suspect? All right, thanks a lot. You guys have been a lot of fun. Back again to cause havoc. So what's up, y'all still doing all right?